Welcome back. This video is a somber one for me. I've been putting off making it, but if I'm going to make it, I need to make it. And uh, so we're just going to shoot this straight on through with or without mistakes. So the coyote finally got pretty. Thursday morning, I believe that's December 9th, we noticed pretty wasn't there. It was kind of windy, so that's not ad abnormal for her to be missing when it's windy. Friday morning, nothing. I checked my ring cameras and I came across this footage. So I don't have any volume on this. I, I cut the volume off because I didn't want to hear it again while I'm editing. But I think you get the idea. The coyote takes her off the porch and then 90 minutes later comes back up with a very full belly as you can kind of see there. So the next day or after seeing that I went outside found the spot in my yard the leaves are missing a lot of her fur is there. And so this next two videos are the last two I've got of her. Here she goes over to our sliding glass door, looking in as always, like she wants to come in, but she just won't do it. And then this is the very last video. She's under the table watching the two cats at the top of the stairs sort their thing out. We call the one on the left Gus, the one on the right Patches. And, uh... She's always just stayed out of the business. She's ate side by side with the raccoons. Raccoons would come up to get her food. No fighting, no problem. She didn't fight with any other cats. Uh, she just let them come up. And so, pretty upset about that. So, of course, we feel guilty. Should have done this, should have done that. You know, the coyote hadn't seen hide nor hair of him, him, her, whatever the coyote is, in five months. Thought it was a fluke. You know, so now I should have had a gate up. I should have put something in front of her little house so nothing can get in there. Give her a better escape avenue. Should have watched the footage and monitored it more closely. My wife thinks she should have tried to get her into the house better and more. But, um, that's unfortunately the way that went. Now, I understand Mother Nature, fully aware of how that works. Um, coyote's doing its thing, but, uh, I was hoping that pretty wouldn't go out that way, any other way but that, you know, that's not a great way to go by predation, starvation, freezing, or disease. None of those ways are very fast or very efficient ways to go, per se. So, I am planning my retribution, I am planning a little revenge, um, but we're going to sign off now. R.I.P. to Pretty Kitty. She spent six and a half years on her porch. We estimate she was about seven and a half years old because we think she was about a year old when she showed up. So she spent six and a half years on our porch, minus the six months she was gone when my wife trapped her, got her TNR trap neuter release. Um, so she couldn't have any kittens or anything like that. And even before then, she didn't have any kittens. She was never pregnant for the couple years she was on our porch. Uh, but she disappeared for six months and then showed back up and has been there ever since. So hope you like this video. If there's something to like, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down there. And as always, thanks for watching.